Hey guys, it's Miss Hagen. Welcome back to Hagen Gone Wrong. Um, today what we're going to be talking about is layers of the atmosphere. So we've already talked about in a previous video the layers of the earth and today what we're going to be doing is, like I said, layers of the atmosphere. It's been a long day. Okay, um, so when we talk about atmosphere, we need to think about first, what does atmo mean? Okay, atmo means air. So it's the air in our environment. Now the air is made up of a lot of different types of gases, and I'm sure you can name some. So go ahead, what's one guess? Okay, yeah, we breathe that one, you're right, oxygen. What's another one, what do we breathe out? Right, carbon dioxide, okay, both of those are in it. But there's one that we probably wouldn't normally think about as being a gas that we uh, have in the atmosphere. Okay, so we're going to have makeup of atmosphere. Okay, so the first thing that makes up the atmosphere, it makes up most of the atmosphere. In fact, it makes up more than three-fourths of it is nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen. Now, I'm going to represent nitrogen as N2, subscript 2, okay? And this is how nitrogen naturally occurs. It's, that's how it's hanging around us. If I go like this, ah, I'm touching nitrogen, okay? Um, and it makes up 78% of the atmosphere. I'm just going to put atmo, okay? Makes up 78% of the atmosphere. Now, one reason that we don't you know, think of nitrogen right off the bat is because nitrogen in a gaseous form doesn't really do a whole lot for us. And we're going to talk more about nitrogen later on when we talk about the nitrogen cycle because that's super important, okay? We're going to go on to our next one, which is the first one you named, oxygen, okay? And oxygen, I'm going to do O2. Oxygen makes up about 21% of the atmosphere. All right, so let's go ahead and do some really quick mental math. 78 plus 21 is, let's see, that's a nine, that's a nine, 99%, okay, 99%. So the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna put down here only makes up 1% of the atmosphere. That's just a bitty, 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 tiny bit, okay? So we have what you guys said originally, carbon dioxide. Okay, and carbon dioxide is CO2. Then we have methane. Okay, methane is really popular with cows. Well, we all make methane, uh, but cows are probably one of the biggest producers of methane, and that's when you fart. Tee hee hee hee, you make methane, okay? Um, then after that, we have water vapor. Oh, vapor. So I'm just going to put H2O, okay, water vapor. We have atmospheric dust. And these are just little pieces of dust floating around in the atmosphere, okay? And then finally we have argon, okay, one of our noble gases, AR. All right, so this stuff right here equals 1%, all right, yeah. We have a lot of stuff making up a very small amount, okay? And we'll talk more about why nitrogen and oxygen are really important. But without these guys, we would not be living here. We would not be existing on the earth, okay? All right, so we'll go ahead and erase this. So let's go ahead and talk about our layers. Now there are a few more layers here than there are uh, for the bottom of the earth. There's more layers on the top of the earth. So first layer is the one that we live in. Okay, it starts with a T, I bet you know it. Oh, you're close. Troposphere. Okay, the troposphere. So, the troposphere is where we live. We are in the troposphere right now. We live, okay. The troposphere extends to about 18 kilometers in altitude, okay. And as the altitude increases, the temperature decreases. So it gets colder the higher up you go in the troposphere. So we have, I'm just gonna write A increases with an arrow, T decreases. 
way you can think about this is think about mountains, okay? Mountains with snow on the top. That is, there's snow there because it's colder on top of the mountain than it is lower down. So as the altitude increases, the temperature decreases, okay? So that is the troposphere. It's really important. This is where we live. This is where our weather happens. So we're going to write weather, okay, happens here. Now, what the weather that we experience doesn't happen necessarily in the other layers of the earth. They happen in the troposphere. Now, in between the troposphere and our next layer is something called the tropopause. So tropopause. Okay, now the tropopause, and I'm only going to write the definition once for a pause because they're the same for all of the other pauses. Okay, the tropopause is where the altitude is increasing, but the temperature stays the same in between the two layers. Okay, so this isn't like we just cut off the troposphere and there's the stratosphere. They kind of merge into each other. So this is, we're going to say, um, area between troposphere, I'm going to write tropo for short, and stratosphere, I'm going to write strato for short, where altitude increases but temperature stays the same. Okay, so that's a pause. And there, and this is the tropopause. Whichever layer is on the bottom, that is gonna be the um, layer that it's named after, okay? So after the tropopause, we have the stratosphere. Okay, now the stratosphere is where we have the ozone. The ozone is located here. Now ozone is represented by O subscript 3, a layer, and we're not really going to go into too much detail about the ozone right now. We'll talk about that later when we do um, air pollution and things like that. But right now you just need to know where the ozone layer is located, okay? And because the ozone layer is in this spot, this is um, the stratosphere actually, as the altitude goes up, the temperature goes up, okay? Because the ozone layer is in the top of the stratosphere and it causes the temperature to go up. Because what also is in the ozone layer are greenhouse gases and those are what are um, trapping the radiation from the sun. Okay, now the stratosphere extends from 18 kilometers to, I believe, 50 kilometers. Okay, so that's what you need to know about the stratosphere. This is where planes travel in the stratosphere. Um, but even though it would feel cold to us still in the stratosphere, the temperature is increasing. So it's very important to note that as altitude goes up, temperature goes up, okay? And then after the stratosphere, we have the stratopause. Let's see, what color haven't I used? Red, okay? So we have the stratopause. Okay, now the stratopause is in between the stratosphere and the mesosphere, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. Now, while I'm erasing this, let's talk about the mesosphere. The mesosphere is one of the coldest is the coldest layer in the layers of the atmosphere. Now there is a mesosphere uh, in the layers of the earth, if you remember that, that's awesome. We didn't really, I didn't, told you you didn't need to know much about the mesosphere and layers of the earth. You don't need to know much about the mesosphere and the layers of the atmosphere. Okay, so the mesosphere extends from 50 kilometers to 80. Okay, and like I said, it is the coldest layer. All right, then after the mesosphere, we have, what, would you, what do you think it's called? It's one of those pauses. Yes, you're right, mesopause, okay? See, you guys are so smart. 
All right, mesopause. Okay, now the next layer we're going to talk about can be broken down into three separate ones. Okay, the layer is called the thermosphere. So we have the thermosphere. Now the thermosphere extends from 80 kilometers to 550 kilometers. Like it's out of this world, almost literally. See what I did there? <laughs> okay, so, but it's broken down into two different parts. Okay, so at the bottom, the lower section, we have the ionosphere. Okay, so this is the ions. This is where, uh, if you know something about chemistry, we talk about ions, cations, and anions. We have a lot of ions form in this section. That's why it's called the ionosphere. Then the upper section is the exosphere. Okay, now the, I remember it's exosphere is the top, top, most top layer because exo, exit. Okay. Now, the thermosphere is warmer than the mesosphere. Okay, so it's warmer than meso. Okay, and one reason this is the case is because we have nitrogen, N2, and oxygen, O2, absorbing solar radiation. Okay, so this is where we have the UV rays, the gamma rays, the really bad stuff that's going to kill us immediately um, being absorbed. Okay, so this causes it to heat up. That's why it's warmer than the mesosphere. Okay, and let's see, I think that's everything we need to know about the thermosphere. So it's important to realize that we have this going on here. Without this, we would be dead. Okay, now I have one more thing I want to show you guys with this. I'm going to draw a picture. And um, if you are taking notes, I would suggest you draw this picture too. I'm going to try and do it really quickly so I don't waste most of your time drawing the picture. So we have the earth. Boop, 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 boop. It's really sad. There's another continent. Okay. <laughs> it's terrible. I told you guys, not a good drawer. All right. So I'm going to draw the different layers. And whenever there's a break, that's where there's a pause. So this is the tropo sphere, if I can spell sphere. All right. Then we have what's next? We have the stratosphere. And these are not drawn to scale, by the way. That'd be kind of cool if they were, but they're not. And after the stratosphere, we have the meso. Wow, wow. Mesosphere. All right. And then after the mesosphere comes a thermosphere. What color should I use? Red? You're right. Okay. So in the thermosphere, this is the biggest one. Bam, bam, bam. Don't you love my drawings? Okay. So in here, we have what goes on the bottom? Ionosphere. Good job. Okay. And then what's going to go on the very top? Exosphere. All right, and then in the right snack dab in the middle of those two is the thermosphere. Beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? You don't have to lie. I know. It's kind of wonky, but it's okay. All right, so those are the layers of the atmosphere. That's what I expect you to know about the layers of the atmosphere. And I hope that um, you guys get it. If you don't, if you have some questions for me, you can email me. And my email will be below. Okay, and uh, comment if you have any questions. I will try and answer you as best I can. Okay, so uh, have a good rest of the day. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Or should I say Boy Scouts? I don't know.